Welcome back. This is another video from my mom. Today is a special day because we have a beautiful sunset in the background. Can you see that? That's awesome. We don't have this kind of sunset very often here. So that's why I'm saying it's a special day today. So I remember I've been telling you how I am a fan of technology and how like things are interconnected and how I depend on my phones for my daily task and my daily life. So I made a video a few weeks ago about the Xiaomi store uh, here in Shenzhen, it's in Nanshan district. And from all the stores we visited, I would say Xiaomi has the coolest products I've seen from any tech brand in China. Actually, I use a lot of Xiaomi products because they don't just... I kind of show you a few products and a few things they have there. And this time I want to show you the products that I personally use on my daily life here. Um, at home basically. I do not have a Xiaomi phone but I still use their products which are very very good and super convenient to use because they are smart products. They have a line of uh, smart home products that are interconnected to your phone and you can use them through your phone, you can turn them on, you can turn them off, you can set up the speed or the intensity of the whatever task it does and I also have a few products to unbox and show you what they have inside the box. So I will start showing you the products I have. I hope I'm excited about this video because um, I love, again, technology and I love Xiaomi and I love all the products they have. And this line, all these products are awesome. Most of these products that I have, um, because they are smart products, most of them you can synchronize them with your phone and turn them on and use them uh, with your phone to set it up through Wi-Fi, right? You, you basically connect them to your network and then to your phone and their home app is called Mi Home. So I have it here and I'll show you the few different products that I already have synchronized. Uh, on my phone. Okay, so basically these are the products that I have on my Mi app. I have the electric kettle, I have the rice cooker, the vacuum, which I love it. The bathroom heater, because here in southern China we do not have heating systems. And I have the washing and drying machine. Let me see, basically with the electric kettle, you can just um, turn it off and choose which temperature you want to keep for the kettle from the phone, right? So you can feel 80 degrees, 70 degrees Celsius, and so on, right? So you can choose uh, which type of beverage you want. If you want coffee, tea, uh, mixing rice flour, so it depends on what you want to prepare with the hot water. Or if you simply want to set up on a specific temperature, uh, you just choose here which temperature you want to keep it, right? Right now it's at 35 degrees, uh, the water. And then you choose that if you want to keep it warm for a certain amount of time. So what I want to do now is going to start washing a, a batch of clothes uh, because my son is going to school tomorrow so every day we wash clothes here at home. We're going to start it and we have several programs here for washing and for drying. So we're going to see right now is just start uh, daily wash. It takes 52 minutes. It says the water will be at 30 uh, degrees Celsius. Just go start. So here you have a countdown and we'll you will receive a notification when it stops. So you can just go ahead and start drying it up. And for my robot vacuum, uh, you have here what it shows. Basically, it's uh, the map of the house and it shows where it's charging right now. It shows the path that it took cleaning the home. So it goes like in this way. And yeah, all the information here is like uh, the area, the surface that it was cleaned, the battery, and the cleaning time it took 26 minutes to clean the whole the whole place. So I'll just go, go here and start cleaning. The vacuum is a little bit noisy, as you can hear. So one of the things that I like the most about this vacuum is when we're not at home, we will turn it off from wherever I am and it will start cleaning home by itself. It, it, it got some trouble with the, <laughs> with the carpet, but it will get over it. She knows how to do it. She knows how to clean home already. I will pause it and I will just go dock it and it will go by itself with the charging dock. So here we are, we have here my lovely Xiaomi vacuum. And here in China, we eat a lot of rice. I mean, a lot, like basically every day. So a rice cooker is definitely a must at home. And the one we have here at home is from Xiaomi as well. And it's just perfect because it cooks delicious rice and all you control it through your phone. And that's really lovely. We have 
here the rice cooker and here you have the different options you can warm up rice you have yogurt tasty rice brown rice to be honest the one i've used so far is quick rice because it just takes like 40 minutes you go start here and then we'll start cooking um, but what i like here let me see if i can find it here uh, rice uh, here it is so you have like different rice pieces so you have uh, simia rice, hunan rice, thai rice, northeastern chinese rice i didn't know there were so many type of rice to be honest <laughs> for me it's just rice i don't know and you have you want it soft if you want it rigid or you can customize uh, the type of the, of the taste curve of the rice that you wish and the other uh, device that I have here uh, synchronized with my Mi Home app, it's the Mi Smart Bathroom Heater. This is the heater I told you we have in the bathroom because uh, here in Southern China we have heating system again, so we, it's useful for when you're taking a shower and when it's too cold. And you have again different options uh, to turn it on. I will show you what this uh, heat, heating system looks like. It's basically like an air conditioner, it's just attached to the ceiling here we have is this one here right so what i'm going to do now is just turn it on it's same but you also have a lot of options to like you can you can set up the temperature uh the ventilation if you want like strong wind or, or low wind if you want if you want just air so there it is here we have so when we're taking a shower and it's too cold outside you can turn it on and after finishing the shower, the whole room, the whole bathroom will still be warm, so you don't feel that uncomfortable. Yeah, 21st century. Here in Guangdong province, in southern China, the weather is very unpredictable. And we have like a few days with very low temperatures, like 10 degrees, 12 degrees, which is kind of cold here in southern China. But then, today it's 26 degrees, and it's December, like it's supposed to be winter. So yeah, these days we haven't used much that heating system, but perhaps at the end of January, February, we'll go back to the cold temperatures and we're going to need that heater. That is really, really useful, especially for kids. You don't want them to get sick like Jay when after taking a shower. We want to keep them as warm as possible so the weather does not affect him that much. So yeah, now we're going to do a big unboxing of a few Xiaomi products that we purchased. This is not sponsored by Xiaomi, by the way. Yeah. We just went into the Xiaomi store for some Christmas shopping and we got some gadgets for our home. Just have a couple things here that I want to purchase since a long time ago. This is the Xiaomi electric toothbrush. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if it's double check. Yeah, it says you can synchronize with your phone as well with the Mi app. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of information you can check there, but let's see what they have here. It's all in Chinese, and that's the downside. They have the toothbrush itself. They have the charger here. I love this brand because it doesn't focus just in phones, but the whole the whole lifestyle uh, technology thing. Like you have toothbrush, you have vacuums, you have. Uh, kitchen appliances, so you have all kind of things. But this toothbrush doesn't come by itself. It comes with a tooth cleaner. It should be like a tooth cleaner, right? So this is a device that will help to clean in between the teeth and the gums, right? So if you're really into oral health, let's see, wow, this is a big one. <laughs> a big tooth cleaner. Charging cable, USB Type-C, awesome. I love Type C devices. Oh, there it is. So you have different uh, accessories to clean in different ways. You have smaller ones, you have kind of like a spoon, you have one like a false to reach, I don't know, I guess deeper between the teeth. What I'm assuming it does is just take the water and throw it out with a high pressure and clean between the teeth with this high pressure water. So it's like. Okay. Ah, this is what I wanted to buy since a long time ago. This is like a connector. A plug, smart plug or smart connector. Right? It's very simple but very useful and smart to have at home. Basically what you have is just like a regular connector and what you can do is simply uh, use your phone or the Mi app to turn it on and turn it off. So for example I want to use this for the Christmas tree, right? So I don't have to plug it and plug it all the time but I simply connect it and with my phone I will turn it off or turn it on. I also want to use it with the um, lamp in the night table because I just have a regular switch but it's like a wheel so it's very annoying all the time you need to turn it 
turn the wheel to turn on and off the lamp. But with this one, I'll just need to use the phone to turn it off or turn it off. This is a uh, steamer, a uh, steam iron. Uh, I hate ironing. I really do. I don't like ironing at all. Um, so, I don't know if every type of clothes can work with this, or I don't know if, if actually it's the same than an actual iron. But, okay, I will try. This is like the water deposit, I'm assuming. Let's put it here. Very futuristic, it looks like a gun. The other device that I'm also excited about is this uh, mini vacuum or portable vacuum cleaner. Uh, we have the big one to clean the floor, but this one is to clean like another surface like the computer, the laptop, uh, Jay's toys, which sometimes are very dirty or full of dust. So this one is very useful because it's very small and compact. So you can charge it, um, uh, I think, yeah, you charge USB Type-C, awesome. Yeah, I guess there are some devices that you, there's no point to plug it with the Mi app. I mean, for a small vacuum, a portable vacuum like this, for what? But I need to explore and check one by one which one I can synchronize and connect to the uh, Xiaomi Home app. Oh, I have another one! This one we couldn't wait, I didn't wait to unbox it in the video. But it's also a brand new one, it's a blender. Also, you can charge it with USB. No, this is no USB Type-C. You see, they're still making products with a USB-A. I, I don't know if it's called the, the previous USB. That's an old standard. Like nowadays, no product, no main product are built with this connector. So, small one, like a small cup or small glass, where you can actually use to drink if you want. But it's useful, it's portable, and to make like juices or small creams or soups for, for J, it's, it's awesome, it's really cool. We used it already to make some uh, fruit juices before. Okay. I am here in my room right now trying to connect the smart connector to my nightstand plan, which is this one here. So I made it, I, I synchronized my connector or my power plug to my nice tan lamp and here it is so i will use my phone to turn it on there it is it is working so i just use my phone to turn it off and this is a simple lamp so you can make any device basically a smart device that you can control with your phone just with this smart plug i will turn it off it's off i'll turn it on there it is Oh, this is great because you can also like schedule a time. You can actually use this lamp as a alarm clock. Like you can schedule the time, what time you want it to turn it on, what time you want to turn it off. Ah, oh, this is awesome. I love it. I love technology. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. I will also be Instagramming my day-to-day -day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.